I am Clinton. As overlord, all will kneel trembling before me and obey my brutal command. Me. <gasps> That's one of the creatures. Senator Dole, why should people vote for you instead of President Clinton? It makes no difference which one of us you vote for. Either way, your planet is doomed. Ladies and gentlemen, 73-year-old candidate Bob Dole. Yay! Abortions for all. Very well. No abortions for anyone. My fellow Americans, as a young boy, I dreamed of being a baseball. But tonight I say we must move forward, not backward. Stop! Those candidates are phonies! Oh, why won't anyone believe my crazy story? Oh! <laughs> Cubicle, vote for me, Senator Ke Bob Dole. I am looking forward to an orderly election tomorrow, which will eliminate the need for a violent bloodbath. <laughs> America, take a good look at your beloved candidates. They're nothing but hideous space reptiles. <laughs> it's true. We are aliens. But what are you going to do about it? It's a two-party system. You have to vote for one of us. He's right. This is a two-party system. Well, I believe I'll vote for a third-party candidate. Go ahead. Throw your vote away. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in and for joining the Controversy 7. Time and time again we have seen what The Simpsons was able to predict. Now it's not that The Simpsons authors or writers know the future, but rather they have inside information as to the plans of the elite. I do believe that this cartoon is not an ordinary cartoon and should not be taken lightly because the things which have been written and the things which have been played out in those series Many of them have given an astounding, near-accurate depiction of things which have taken place politically, socially, economically, worldwide events. You have to wonder the question, how do these writers know these things? I personally believe that it is not coincidental that these people put these things together because somebody knows something. The writers have an inside information. They are in direct contact with the devil's agents and they themselves must play by the rules of the great controversy that is to say the devil's plans must be laid out in plain sight the people must be told the truth in plain sight and the reason why the devil must put the truth out in plain sight is because he must give the world a choice people must choose whether they want the deception or whether they want the truth which by the way is harshly condemned and also harshly shamed i mean think about this who in their right mind wants to be called a conspiracy theorist? Who wants to be called a crazy man or a crazy woman? Stop! Those candidates are phonies! <laughs> oh, why won't anyone believe my crazy story? <laughs> oh, dog! Who wants to be called a crazy man or a crazy woman? Now I'm going to show you something that you are going to be able to witness with your own two eyes. And many of you, even by seeing this with your own two eyes, you are still going to say, I'm crazy and you are going to label me a conspiracy theorist even though you will see this with your own two eyes. None of these politicians are on your side. Remember that the Simpsons even told you it does not matter who you vote for. Whomever you vote for, you vote for the same devilish spirit that is coming to destroy you. That's one of the creatures! Senator Dole, why should people vote for you instead of President Clinton? It makes no difference which one of us you vote for. Either way, your planet is doomed. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has recently come out and introduced a new Bible to be given to Americans. He wants to make America pray again. Trump wants to make America back into a quote-unquote Christian nation. I have a question for all of you. Is the pendulum beginning to shift? Remember the following, 
to every action there is an equal but opposite reaction what am i saying the pendulum has swung to the far left of the political spectrum of ungodliness and someone is looking to capitalize on the ungodliness of the nation and that is president trump trump is capitalizing on the christian voters and many christians believe in trump and they support him there is a saying the enemy of my enemy is my friend many people have been convinced that trump is the enemy of their enemy is that really so is that true brothers and sisters i want you to think about something very important over here when america is being told to pray again when trump is saying he wants to make america pray again what you are dealing with now is a religious and political power what we are dealing with now is a union of faith and politics we are talking about a union of church and state we are talking about a spiritual election brace yourselves to hear a lot more things that are going to be catered towards christians but now the question is will this be a good thing for the nation or is there a sinister plan behind it brothers and sisters the pendulum has swung to the left but now the pendulum wants to shift to the right i want to show you what i see in trump maybe you might see it maybe you may not see it but i want to show you something that i believe is very important It's very important for us to know who is Trump or what is he and can he be trusted should he be trusted I will tell you this brothers and sisters put no trust in men something tells me that these people don't even care about hiding their identity I feel like they just want to reveal it to you they're showing to you who they really are by making it plain because the eyes are the windows of the soul and through the eyes you can tell a thousand different things this bible is the king james version and also includes our founding father documents yes the constitution which i'm fighting for every single day very hard to keep americans protected also the bill of rights the declaration of independence and the pledge of allegiance are all part of this god bless the usa bible and it's just very important and very important to me i want to have a lot of people have it you have to have it for your heart for your soul many of you have never read them and don't know the liberties and rights you have as americans and how you are being threatened to lose those rights it's happening all the time it's a very sad thing that's going on in our country but we're going to get it turned around religion and christianity are the biggest things missing from this country and i truly believe that we need to bring them back and we have to bring them back fast i think it's one of the biggest problems we have that's why our country is going haywire we've lost religion in our country hold up a sec i want you to pay attention to this look at the man's eyes look at the man's eyes look at trump's eyes look at the color of his eyes look at the people of his eyes and you tell me what you see do you see regular eyes of a human being or do you see slit pupils do you see slit eyes that resembles that of a cat or of a reptile or do you see a regular people of a human being what do you see in trump's eyes because i can tell you just by this here and it's not like it's a glitch the entire thing from the whole from the beginning even to the end the eyes of trump have a slit instead of a regular pupil i personally believe the eyes are the windows of the soul and i believe that god is exposing these people to us so that he will show to us not to put our trust in them my friends if you have discernment you will understand that this is the spirit of the dragon that is even talking through these people Trump cannot be trusted, Biden cannot be trusted. None of these politicians can be trusted. Remember even the Simpsons told you that it doesn't matter who you choose, who you think you're voting for. 
because at the end you are voting for the same power that is behind these leaders and they are not looking out for your best interest. So who exactly is Trump? What exactly is he? You see, while he is talking about the Bible and promoting to you things of the Christian faith, he himself is a dragon. America in the last days is going to appear as a lamb. Christian values, but it is going to speak like a dragon, persecuting power. Remember that President Trump, he has admitted that he does not ask God for forgiveness and he believes that he is a good person. Have you ever asked God for forgiveness? That's a tough question. I, I don't think in terms of, I have, I'm, I'm a religious person. Which is a great book. But have you ever asked God for forgiveness? <laughs> I'm not sure I have. I just go and try and do a better job from there. I don't think so. When you said that you've never asked God for forgiveness, do you, do you regret making that remark? No, I have great relationship with God. I have great relationship with uh, the evangelicals. In fact, nationwide, I'm, I'm up by a lot. I'm leading everybody. By his own words, he proves that he has an unrepentant heart and furthermore, declares himself a good man and has never committed sin. Therefore, is in no need of asking for forgiveness from heaven above. Does Trump really have the heart of Christ? Does Trump really have the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ? Whose heart does President Trump really have? By his outward expression of the things that proceeds forth out of his mouth and by the way he carries himself, I do not see Christ in him. Remember that Trump was first and foremost an actor. He has always been an actor and he has always been in film production. And remember that the word actor stems from the Greek word hypocrite. That is the very origin of the root word actor, hypocrite. Do not put your trust in men. Do not put your trust in politicians. You are voting for a dragon. Anyone that you put in power, you are selecting which dragon you want to put in power. These are, these are people possessed of the spirit of reptilians. They are everywhere. Dr. Phil was even interviewing one in his show. And Dr. Phil is one of them too. You can tell just by looking at their eyes, their eyes change. Their eyes change, their necks change, everything that they have, their tongues, their teeth also morph. These are demoniacs, demons being revealed to you, brothers and sisters. They are everywhere. They are in Hollywood. They are everywhere. They are the beautiful supermodels that you lust after online. They've got lots of followers. They've got big, big, big following. They are beautiful. They make you lust after them. They make you lust after the illusion. Brothers and sisters, we need to come out of this matrix of being in bondage and lusting after devils. Come out of Babylon in Jesus' name. If you saw them for what they were, you would run away. You don't even know who you're lusting after online. You don't know if you're lusting after somebody who actually doesn't even exist. Do you think that demons can't create their own social media platforms? and rack up a bunch of followers and post TikTok and Instagram videos and Twitter videos. You don't think demons can do that? My friends, the more I think about it, this domain belongs to them. They can do whatever they want. This is the airwaves. It belongs to them. They can do that if they want. I think it's time for us to have a reformation about this kind of thing. I think it's time for everybody to have a reformation within their own hearts. It's time to have a reformation and to put your foot down. All of us need to put our foot down. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. At first the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms, and then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. And then the lover, sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress' eyebrow. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths, bearded like the pard, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation, even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice, 
and fair round belly with good cape and line, with eye severe and beard of formal kind, full of wise saws and modern instances. And so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacles on nose <laughs> and pouch on side. His youthful hose well saved a world too wide for his shrunk shank. And his big, manly voice, turning again towards childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all that ends this strange, eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. All the world is a stage. Do not believe that which you see on television. Not everything is what it appears to be. The lines between that which is real and that which is artificial is being blended into one. There are no more black and white, but now it is becoming gray. The world itself is now blending truth with fiction. The world is blending in that which is truth with error. The world is now a stage of deception. In this world below, we are on a path that we must overcome obstacles. Brothers and sisters, this world of deception and this world of illusion is coming to an end. Yeshua, the Holy One of the House of Israel, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, He is coming. The days of this world are numbered and the days of sin and sinners are also numbered. Therefore, be not numbered among the transgressors. Now is the hour to make peace with our Father in heaven. Now is the hour to make peace with one another. Now is the hour for us to stand our ground in our Father's name. While the host of darkness will come and they will bring forth their influences and they will bring forth their entertainers and they will bring forth their magicians, their soothsayers, their sorcerers, while they will bring forth their witches and wizards and warlocks to do all kinds of incantations and all kinds of witchcraft. They have no power because we are more than conquerors through Christ. We are sons and daughters of the Most High. And therefore, we tremble not at the wonders, nor at the powers, nor at the miracles, of devils we shall tremble not but they shall tremble at the name of Jesus Christ but they shall tremble when we stand our ground in Jesus name they will fall and we the sons and daughters of the Most High we will stand tall let it so be that those who hearken unto this message may even seek to have an internal reformation an internal reformation to refrain from sin and to resist sin, to resist the devil that he may flee away. The hour has come for all of us to resist the devil. Resist the devil and he shall flee away from you. Submit yourselves unto God. Brothers and sisters, I want to say thank you for tuning in and for joining me. Do not put your trust in men. Put your trust in the Most High. Do not put your trust in politicians nor in presidents, nor in what you see on the news, but put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. You can never go wrong if you place your trust in Yeshua. You can never go wrong if you place your trust in the Son of God. Turn to Him and submit to Him and resist the devil and the devil shall flee away from you. If you love these videos and you wish to support this channel, this ministry, here are the links that you can be able to use to be able to support this ministry. Other than that, friends, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you for tuning in and for joining me. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure that you subscribe and turn on all your bell notification icons. That way, whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Other than that, I'm not going to hold you off. I do have a second channel in which I upload weekly videos there. 
If you ever want to join and do Bible studies, you want to sharpen your understanding about the Word of God, consider subscribing to my second channel, which is called Controversy 7 Ministry. The link is in the video description box and also pinned at the comment section. Feel free to go and subscribe there and also turn on your bell notification icons on. Other than that, I'm not going to hold you off. You take good care of yourselves. Be blessed. Be safe. I will see you in the next video.